Hi everybody, it's me, Legardo Laxon, also known as Chino and Artie. I already have made a setup review about my five monitor setup, as you can see in front of me right here. Um, right now, I do have them off, but recently I've been doing another project for my laptop bar, where I have a fridge with beer and everything like that, and music, which I'm still working on. The only thing currently I've done to this uh, setup is that I added LED lights. I'm going to be putting more LEDs on each of these screens to have multiple colors. It is remote control powered. I can adjust the remote control. Let's see. Turn red. There we go. Or I can go any color I want. It has all these colors. So I, I stick with the bright blue. And um, the adhesive, because uh, due to the reflection of the roll cop poster I have right there, it does kill it because you can actually see all the dots of the LED. It's supposed to just illuminate, but it, it it's just reflecting. It's supposed to be like right there just to have that ambient feel to it. But... Um, as you can see, I'm watching Judge Dredd with Rob Schneider, Sylvester Stone, and an uncredited James Remmar. <laughs> and there's the other monitor right there. This is actually, uh, I always pull this monitor out so I can repair customers' computers, etc. But the bar I was talking about is right here. I just have it all light up right here to show you guys what I have. As you can see, um, it's a Dell Inspiron 9400. Quite old computer, but it has all the RAM I need in there. It has 8 gigs of RAM and has a terabyte hard drive space. Um, I do have a VR unit right here. It goes well with it. I mean, it's a value VR unit. Very, very, very cheap. Um, of course, I can control the lights, again, by remote control. I know they all look the same. And I do have a, a Newmark um, <clears throat> uh, DJ, um, iDJ Live. This does work on a laptop, also works on tablets, as well as your phone. Android, iOS, Windows, Linux, you name it. I mean, um, uh, also, the... You know, I do have these lights right here. These are speakers, but I, I turn off the speakers uh, right now. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to show a little demonstration so it doesn't distract the audio from me while I'm recording. Um, let me put the audio right here. Uh, I do have a little LED light right here on top. You know, a little right there, see? Got that for a dollar. Most of these are from the dollar store. As you can see this, uh, speakers. I got those speakers. Here's the box. It was $7.99 at the $0.99 cents only store. And um, it has multiple colors on it too. And I got these at the 99 cent store for a dollar each. I got all three colors. I like the orange one uh, as well. As, so it goes well with my industrial outfit with these boots that I wear. And then I mix it with that color when I carry it around. But I have everything I need on this laptop bar. I'm going to be setting up a big subwoofer setup right here. I mean, I do have the woofers right now. As you can see, they're fos gates. And I do have... Um, uh, pile and so and then these are Sony speakers and then the tweeters are underneath and I have my um, What do you call it? Logitech attack 3? So I'm gonna play some simulation games that does go well with the VR unit or I can just play with the VR controller Which works with iPhones and etc. And uh, I have to sync my phone and stream the games that I'm playing through my laptop to the phone and um, I do have another Logitech it emulates just like plug-and-play proprietary for the Xbox 360 and Xbox One's controller. And I have all my emulation here. I mean, you name it. It already has all my Super Nintendo and everything like that. Uh, so PlayStation. <laughs> I have it already in this one gigabyte hard, uh, one terabyte um, hard drive on the, that I upgraded. And it has 8 gigs of RAM. So if I'm just going to be putting, um, for example, Mario, Super Mario, okay, All-Stars. And this is just an example. These are just emulations. I have Sega Genesis, PlayStation, Dreamcast, etc. So I uh, just press start and I can just play it right here through my controller. Yeah. But um, importantly, just to test out this guy, because um, these are just lights. These are remote controlled wise. See, you can actually control this, these lights. Uh, you can get this at Big Lots right now for, uh, what do you call it, $10 even. You get two of them and a remote control, and it controls multiple lights. I bought a bunch of these for my car, so um, it actually illuminates inside my car. Now, for the turntables, uh, basically it looks cool if I do it like this, if, you know, because I do have the flashlight, I mean my, my, my camera lights on, so it's not really illuminating as you can see. But uh, right now I do have it uh, right here, and go to my music and drag one of these songs in there and then play it and then now i can actually control it as you can see oh wait i haven't plugged it in yet oh righty then where's that usb where are you okay 
Sorry about that, guys. I, I just went jumping. Haven't set this guy up yet. So, there we go. I heard that noise. And, okay, the only way I know that this guy is working is when this light turns on. All right. Now, I can actually sw switch this. See, I don't need to move my mouse cursor to control these anymore. Uh, let me turn off the flash a little bit. Let me see if I can do this. Uh, yeah, right. Oh, no, it's not working good. But anyway, um, I can actually adjust it right there. As you can see, it's doing it by itself. See, I don't need to use the mouse. And when I'm scratching. So let's play a song. Let me mix it in one track right there. And then this jockey my way and then puts, I mean, I can sync it. For this 9400 laptop, it is quite loud. And I press play here. Then I just have to mix it in. All right, all right, I'm done. Okay, and when the lights are off, I just turn everything off right here. These are uh, powered by three AAA batteries, as well as these uh, speaker lights are run by USB. There we go. And then let me turn off these lights. Uh, power off. There we go. Battery powered. And yeah, this is my setup of my new laptop bar. I'm still working on it. When I get the final done, I will gladly show you guys a tour with the speakers. I'm going to be putting um, behind it, there's going to be a bar. Of course, there's going to be drinks there. There's going to be a refrigerator. Um, and then behind right there where you see that black thing right there, we're going to have some stacks where I can put some liquor bottles. And then... Or, yeah, so because over here, as you can see, I do have a dance floor behind me in the computer area. So when the music start blasting, we got uh, the strobes.